Hey guys, this is Kirk Overstreet and I'm putting together a vodcast, vlog, whatever they call it nowadays. My hope through this is the viewers that are watching this will gain some insight of what church planting is all about. I'm going to try to put some episodes together where we talk to the church planter, find out their story, hear uh, how they came to uh, understand the calling on their heart, on their lives, uh, how they introduced that to their wife or to a team or how they put together a gathering. I'm going to be having different episodes about the different methods and strategies and styles of church planting. I'll be uh, trying to gain some uh, wisdom from you guys that I can put on here because I believe that you guys as church planters, you can equip, you can encourage, you can strengthen another church planter and so there might be a church planter uh, that watches this and may need to contact you and so we'll have that information for them to do so. Alright, the first episode that I have for you guys is very special to me. It's an interview with my father, Don Overstreet. He's planted multiple churches. He's inspired many church planters. Uh, he's an evangelist. He, he just wants to see people saved and discipled and followers of Jesus Christ. I did an interview with him um, in downtown LA. I have a few questions and I want you guys to hear the answers and hopefully they inspire, equip, and bring some affirmation to your hearts as you are church planting. I was blessed. I grew up in a little town here in LA called Bell, and because the Southern Baptists were, were just beginning here in California, our church always planted churches. So it was just part of our uh, culture, um, and our church was always sponsoring our starting one in our facility, Spanish speaking, or whatever. And the Cubans, a large immigration of Cubans came here, we started a Cuban church. So I just thought it was normal behavior. Um, so. It's always been in my heart, um, and then God called me to preach at 18. I went out to California Baptist College University now to go to school. Uh, and one of the men that lived next door to me, he was from Brazil, Claudio Maratini. But he learned translated from Portuguese to Spanish quickly. And he asked me to go help him find a church down in San Juan Capistrano, uh, Spanish speaking. So I said, sure. And I went down there and, and he, we met in a bunkhouse. And he started the Spanish in the front and I took five kids in the back and taught them, preached to them in English. And so that's how I learned. We went out into the work camps, went out into, to the fields and when it was open fields and ministered to people who cared for them. And that's where God just set my heart on fire at 18, 51 years ago, uh, for church planting. So I've been doing it ever since, you know planting churches, um, and then pastoring them for a while, and then going on, started another one, um, and then eventually becoming a strategist, missionary overseas, starting to do work in the island, the Caribbean, and did not have Baptist work, and then strategist here in LA, back home in LA for the last 20 some years. So it's just been a passion of my heart. And it always will be. I'm old enough to retire, but I can't quit because there's just so many lost people. And I still believe the best way to reach people is starting churches because you have to go after the lost people. You're not just cultivating, re rearranging the saints, but you're going after the lost people. So that's why I love church planting so much.